Hello, what's up you guys? Did you see how snowy and cold it is here right now? Oh my gosh, look at this. Ah, it's so freezing. It's like cold in your bones, kind of cold. Okay, so I just got home from Costco and I wanted to show you guys real quick what my, uh, what my cart looked like, okay? Because I, um, I like to go uh, hi Emma. I like to go and just pick up a few essentials. Thank you. This is, I'm like shiny keys. Uh, this is by a company called the Nashama Project and they have really nice stuff. Um, I always have this on actually. I love it. I feel like it. I mean, I love everything pink and it just, uh, I love to hold it while I'm talking to people actually. Uh, yeah, you'll love them, Aubrey. Okay, so um, anyway, I wanted to show you real quick my healthy haul, and then I have to get going. Okay, so I'm going to make this like a five-minute scope, um, and I want to show you guys what I typically get at Costco. So here's the thing. I don't get any of our produce from Costco because that's where you're going to find a lot of the frankenfoods. Okay, no bueno. A lot of stuff in there that shouldn't be the size that it is. Okay, so what I like to get at Costco are... Um, uh, that would be a no. You're blocked. Um, what I like to get at Costco are the, the goods for the pantry, things that you can buy in bulk that are organic. I love that Costco is now um, listening to buyers and, and the fact that we are voting with our dollars. This is really important. We live in a time where, um, you know, the, the businesses have to listen to what the consumer is saying and we say it loudest through how we spend, okay? So I'm gonna flip my phone around. <laughs> and that's real life right there. Okay, so before I take these inside, I just wanna pull out for you um, like the key things that I always get, okay? So everything in here, here's what's super cool. Everything in here is organic aside from the toilet paper. <laughs> okay, so first thing I like to get are these little avocado dippers um, because you know what, it just makes life a little bit easier. And avocados are so good for you, obviously it's better if you are buying the real deal um, and just making it yourself, but you know, this is like, we love these in our home. Um, holla, how many of you have tried this? This is for after the kids go to bed, right? Organic dark chocolate, almond bark. Boom. Okay. These, this is what actually inspired this scope. I posted this on Instagram earlier. You can find me on Instagram um, at wholefit, H-O-L underscore F-I-T. This brand of granola bars is, in my opinion, one of the healthiest options you can find for your kids for school. They're school safe. They don't have any nuts in them. And here's what I love, okay? They're organic. They're made with vegetables, okay? So if you look at the ingredients here, whoops. Uh, like, obviously there are um, sugars added to this, which if you're making your own at home, you can control. But these aren't too bad, six grams of sugar. Um, but here's what I love, they actually use vegetables as their base, okay? So you can see this one here has a vegetable powder, spinach, broccoli, carrots, beets, mushrooms, awesome. So my kids love these. I put one in their lunch almost every day. Um, and these are new, I think, at Costco. Yeah, Emma, talk to your husband. Get them in. I, I don't know. The ones in Canada, at least, I think some of the major cities have them. Okay, what's next? Um, I don't know. This is something I grabbed in the freezer section. Uh, steel cut oatmeal. Just something, you know, for quick breakfast. Nice to have on hand. Uh, skinny Pop. How many of you guys have tried this? So, this is nice. It's a really big bag. Um, it is not only organic, non-GMO, okay? This is really important when you're buying corn, okay? Corn is one of the most genetically modified products, so you know what? We, hey, Chris, we love popcorn in our house, so I will often make it with coconut oil and I'll add a little bit of nutritional yeast and sea salt, but this is really great to have on hand. Okay, moving along, I found these today, and I actually, I was in between mentor hauls um, while I was on the road today, so I tried one for you, and they are delicious. So these are made um, by Hemp Heart, the brand. Apple snacks, I put these in my kids' lunch as well. These are those squeeze tubes. They're organic blends of fruit. Um, ginormous package of toilet paper. Okay, organic salsa. 
I like this brand. This is just Kirkland brand. This is like the Costco brand. Um, I buy this and then I also buy the simple, a simply natural organic pasta sauce. I like to have them on hand because with tomato based products, um, again, you want to make sure you're getting organic. So those are two really good options. Um, and then two more things I want to show you. Um, I just picked this up. Wild Roots is a really great brand that Costco is carrying now in a lot of products. So I, uh, I thought, hey, maybe I'll make it a little easier on myself and grab this muffin mix and I'll add um, just some like super seeds and stuff to it when I'm baking. Last thing I'll show you, this is the last item I got there today were these organic Aussie bites. And somebody on Instagram had a good enough eye to see these in my cart even though they were like way in the back so that's pretty cool. These are really yummy. I keep these in the fridge and uh, they're nice with the tea in the afternoon. They're high sugar. Yes they are Kate. Uh, yeah so like you can obviously make things cleaner when you are controlling the ingredients. Um, what are you confused about? Somebody said they're confused about something. If you're in London this was at the um, Wonderland Costco. Oh fun! Watching this with a prenatal group training class. Hi mamas! Alright cool. Oh at rebirth! Yay! Alright. I know, Costco has totally stepped it up, listening to the consumer. This is the only way you create change. And I want to tell you something, I was at this um, GMO event last week in London. Jeffrey Smith, who wrote, um, he, he wrote the book GM, uh, GMO Roulette, something like that. I can't remember the exact name. Anyway, one of the points he made was that in Europe, the only way change happened was because people were voting with their dollars. And this is why the, in Europe they have banned a lot of the things that we actually have in our food supply here. There's a lot of efforts in place right now to prevent us as the consumer in North America from knowing what's in our food. Genetic roulette. Thanks, Casey. Uh, so this is really important that we do shop with our or vote with our dollars. And I love Costco for um, the ease. You know, the the fact that especially for those of you that are busy women with you know moms with kids, like you want to be able to stock up on things that are healthy and. Um, uh, yeah. Oh, that's a good tip. They always read the comment cards. That's great. Yeah. So, you know, if you have a favorite brand that you're buying right now and you'd love to buy it in bulk, then that's a great tip, um, Kate. Yeah. They're by the exit. Okay, cool. All right. Do you guys, for those of you that, uh, don't live in a cold, snowy climate, are you loving this? Can you see the snow? Look at this, it's like the most beautiful snowflakes. Everyone stick your tongue out, catch a snowflake. <laughs> All right, you guys, I gotta run. Hope you're having a good day.